My name is Georgia Francis Key. I live in Bedford, Indiana. Donna Henry from Dorford, Indiana. I'm Ruby Perrette, and I live here in Brown County, Indiana. Ruby was in the private room that day, and I just stopped at the doorway, and I said, hang in there. I said, this is my third time around, and Ruby said this was her fourth time around. Uh, Ruby, she's a talker. I thought I talked a lot. <laughs> she's a talker. Yeah, when we was doing uh, Halloween, I was going to do it on Halloween day. You might as well have fun. I told him, I said, you know, we'll come in here and get stuck and end up talking and stuff. I said, let's have some fun about it and things. And even Dr. Ragavander, she put a hat on. She looked pretty good as a witch. <laughs> well, I've been blessed to have do good doctors and nurses at both places. But at St. Francis, it was a change of atmosphere that I really needed because when you go to a cancer center, you get it can get dismal. So when I started at St. Francis, it was like a fresh day with the sun shining and Dr. Vader Vander, she's just upbeat and happy and saying, we're gonna get you through this and just like a new day. I kind of feel like sometimes you need a second opinion. I really like it there, they're so polite. And so they're just, it seems like they're so concerned about you. And I've had doctors before that will come in and talk to me and they actually, honest to God, have their hand on the doorknob. Dr. Ragenbender, you know, she listens and I always bring in a whole bunch of questions. She, before, when she comes in the door, she goes, okay, Ruby, what's the questions? You know, and she goes through every one of them. It makes me feel comfortable. I think uh, the first clue was when they started requesting to be scheduled on the same day. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are the same cackling and giggling and fun times like you saw at their house. That's exactly how they are in the offices. And I think it's great to see them form that bond. I think what I'm seeing is it's getting passed on. So these women, they come in, they are great friends. I think they are such an amazing support system for each other. They are talking to them, you know, about their diagnosis. They're talking to them about, hey, you know what, you'll get through this treatment. They are keeping the morals up. They are helping them counter the side effects of these treatment. And I think that bond that they have, they, they're emailing each other. They're to check in and make sure that everything is going okay. I mean, it is amazing to see them form that bond. They all have different personalities. I think we have one of us who is our social director. She'll command that everyone's going to dress up for Halloween and everyone will dress up for Halloween. I think when I take care of my patients, you know, I'm taking care of their cancer. They are taking care of each other. They are enabling, you know, I think that friendship has, a, that definitely has allowed them to do much better than what I would have anticipated for their cancers. They snuck up on me. <laughs> They're wonderful. We bring the care to them, closer to them in their neighborhood. Um, the nice thing about the Columbus office is, is it's much more laid back. It's quieter, it's calmer. So I think it makes it easier for patients to be, they feel like they're being cared for at their home. It's personalized medicine and it's personal care. It's not just about your cancer care. We are trying to take care of them as a whole person and it's, a, it's access to great medicine in their backyard.